So now we will start with the Flutter setup. So we will go through the installation on Windows and Mac. So right now what you see is a Windows machine. So I will be installing Flutter on it. In the next lecture, we will go through the same process for a Mac. So I will show you that as well. And once we have the installation done, and then we will start with the basics. Yeah. So to install, visit flutter.dev in your browser. And it's a very good website. They have got tons of information there. And I'll recommend, highly recommend you to keep visiting these websites because they keep on launching new features, new widgets, which you can use to add a lot of attractive features into your app. So I'll say even after you have completed this course, um, keep coming back and also subscribe to their channel on YouTube because they will post videos, especially with the ones where they have talked about a specific widget. So these are small, you can say really short two to five minutes videos where they will talk about some specific widget and you'll get really good information there. So now from flutter.dev, if I click on get started, it will take me to this page. So for now, I'm going to install it for Windows. So actually it is already installed my on my machine. So I'm not going to do it. But from this page, you just have to download this folder. And then it's all about, you know, extract the zip file and then next, next. So I'm sure you have uh, installed many uh, programming languages or software applications in the past. So that process is pretty much same. Now, if you want to update the path, which essentially means that if I go to CMD and run a flutter command, it won't work actually right now because I haven't updated my environment variables. But once you have done it, if I just, you know, hit enter, it should take it. But like, as I said, it won't right now. So I'm getting this error. Basically, if, if you haven't updated the environment variable, um, your command prompt will not recognize that particular language. In this case, it is Flutter, but you have to do it for any language you want to use or operate through command prompt on your computer. Though I recommend this process, but if you don't want to do it, um, it doesn't mean that um, you can't use Flutter on your computer without updating your environment variable. It's already there on your machine. You just have to navigate to the folder where you have um, unzipped or extracted this uh, Flutter installation. Um, so now I will show you how to use Flutter without uh, updating the environment variable because sometimes uh, people might prefer to do it this way also. So now I will go to the folder where I have installed uh, or rather extracted my Flutter installation, that zip file which I have installed. So this is the folder uh, where I have extracted my Flutter. Now if you see, uh, let's say I don't want to update my environment variable. In that case, I can just use this Flutter underscore console batch file. So basically when you unzip, uh, everybody will have all these files and folders in their Flutter download. So this is another way, but point problem is that I find it cumbersome because every time you want to use Flutter, you have to navigate to your Flutter folder and open that batch file. But feel free to use it if that's the way you like. Now I will update the environment variables on my computer and I will show you uh, how we can directly go ahead, launch CMD command prompt and start using it, uh, which is pretty much a straightforward process. If you see all the instructions are here, basically we need to uh, go to our environment variables and update path. Um, so these are the instructions which we are going to follow. But let's say you don't have that path variable at this stage uh, on your computer. Probably you have never updated it or used it in the past. So in that case, you can just click on that uh, new button to create a new path. So I'll just show you. Uh, so if I go back to here, if you see, I can click on this new and then I can create a new variable for path. So I already have it. So I'm simply going to update it with the 
path or you can say url of the bin folder which is there in my flutter download so now let's go to the flutter folder so wherever you have downloaded it uh, whether it's in your document desktop wherever it is you will have this bin folder inside this flutter folder and you just have to copy this path and add it there so now let's do this so let's go back to our environment variables here i will um, just click on this new and simply paste that entire path here no rocket science nothing so now i will save it so just click on the ok and now we should be good so now if i go back to my command prompt and uh, run a simple flutter command it could be anything you will see that it will work and don't worry about these commands uh, we will go through them in details in the next few videos so you'll have uh, all the information you need but i find it easier because you can simply search for cmd open the command prompt and start using it so basically that's how you install flutter and start using it on a windows machine and i want to highlight one important point here just because flutter is cross platform it doesn't mean that you can develop an ios app without using a mac so you will still need a mac computer it could be macbook air pro imac anything to develop a mac or ios app having said that if you don't have it right now you can start developing your project you can test it with uh, android simulators and later when you acquire any mac machine you can use uh, same code base with little or minimal configuration updates modifications uh, to run the same code for your ios app so i won't say that you should stop but i have seen a lot of people assume that just because uh, flutter will run on windows and it is cross platform they can use a windows machine to develop ios app so i just want to highlight that okay see you in the next lecture where we will download and install flutter on a mac thank you